boys. Come on, baby. Uh, Claire? Under the rig. Hey, Claire. Hell of a machine. Cool. You know your shit, and you've got good taste. Meat Beast. My pride and joy. Beer in the fridge if you want me. Thanks. So what's this about? Need a driver. Thought you might do. What's the race like? Any special rules? Lack of them, actually. You race in pairs. Driver and gunner. So, you a turret guru or a driver's ed dropout? I'm more an engine tuner. Good at it, too. And I shoot, but I'm no rally racer. I trust you're capable behind the wheel? But this won't be your first time out, will it? Don't worry. I've done my fair share of rounds. And your last driver. They quit? In a way, died in a race a year back. Ah, uh, sorry. Sure, Claire. I'll be your driver. Okay, we got four races. First one's in city center. That'll be followed by the Badlands and Santo, then Watson to finish. Fair carrot we're chasing after? First place gets a payout. That happens, we split it 50-50. Sound fair? Got goosebumps already. If I'm driving, why not use my wheels? Think it's got what it takes? This isn't just about speed. It's a gauntlet of twisted steel. Rest easy. I don't drive a soapbox racer. Your car, mine. You'll be on the pedals. You decide. When do we start? There's a qualifying ladder. We need to climb it to reach the finals. How high? Top three in at least two rallies gets our ticket stamped. Let's meet in city center. I'll snap you the specifics. You hear the roar of overtuned monsters? That's the place. See you there. We got trouble. I'm glad you called back. I really hoped you'd see the sense of it. I assume you're ready now to meet, talk about the job? Sure, let's do that. I'll send you the address. See you.
Are you V? Please step in the vehicle. Okay. Hello, V. I'm Jefferson Perales. You've already spoken with Elizabeth, my wife. Perales? The one running for mayor of Night City? The one. So the one who was DA until recently, but just vaulted into a seat on the city council. I gather you now understand why discretion is of the utmost importance. Nice to meet you, Mr. Perales. Mrs. Perales? Hmm, right again, Liz. You see, my wife is a great judge of character. Said this would work. Now I see why. So, what do you got for me? Carter, let's go. Elizabeth? Well, as you're probably aware, Mayor Lucius Rhine recently passed. We want to know how, why, whatever else is pertinent. It was all over the news. Of course it was. Media feasted for weeks. Pieces like that are their lifeblood. Right. Think they missed something? We have reason to believe they did, yes. As far as I remember, someone tried to zero Ryan a few days before his death. The NCPD sees no link. They're saying it was a random cyber-psycho attack. And claiming the mayor died of natural causes. Causes unrelated to the attack. It's in the official reports. Ryan died at home due to a cardio implant malfunction. These suspicions of yours wouldn't have anything to do with the upcoming election, would they? Of course they would. If Lucius Ryan was murdered, we want to know. Need to know. What makes you think the cops got him wrong? Got any evidence? Shortly before Ryan passed, he made cuts in the NCPD budget. Perhaps got on someone's bad side that way. In any case, we have the cyber psycho attack on a BD. Our chief of security scanned it, but didn't find anything out of the ordinary, so to speak. We need a brain dance editor, a real one. It's raw footage. The brain dance. It has to be back where it belongs today, or a lot of people will be in a lot of trouble. If you agree to help, you can see it right now. Where'd you get the scroll? Ryan was making a public appearance. BD scrolling standard procedure for events like that. Following the attack, the NCPD impounded the footage as evidence. We had to pull many strings to extract it. All right, see what I can do. Excellent. We'd be happy with any find that would clarify things, alleviate lingering doubts. Well, what do we got here? Question is, what are you doing here? My brain too, isn't it? And this time, don't go scrolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it PG. Stop right there! Slow your roll! River Ward, NCPD. Police. Let him in? Let him wait. It's important. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Prem, do it after the conference.
And this time, don't go scrolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it PG. Who's the Hulk guy? No idea. Those ass clowns are all the same. Second conference in three days. No idea what this blitz is for. That's why I'm mayor and you're not. Now's when we need the visibility. You're spreading yourself too thin. I'll rest tonight. My room at the Red Queen's race is ready. Yes, of course. Good. Now go. Gotta practice. Red Queen's race. Cause any intersynapse zaps? Sure, a bunch of old Brit farts and powdered wigs shouting off with their heads. You know, you're allowed to say you don't have a clue. It was done on purpose. That or the psycho saw his chance and took it. Don't get paranoid on me. Hold it! Stop right there! Slow your roll! River Ward, NCPD. Police. Let him in? Let him wait. It's important. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Preem, do it after the conference. Cop wanted to tell security something. Probably that he was standing by to lick Ryan's butthole. Could have chromed half the city with what he was packing. Probably what happened. Body disappeared from the morgue, sight unseen. And then some pig got himself a new set of wheels in an ugly ass suit. Know that? Or just talking out your ass again. Once you've seen all I've seen, don't need to know things to know them. People are the same everywhere. Okay, it's coming out your ass. Terminal crashed right as he went through the gate. Glitch was no accident. Nah, seen stranger coincidences. Like? Like when you bang some chick and then her sister, later, same night. And it turns out they're both sisters of God. That really happened to you? Nah. But it could've. Oh, well, well, well. The tune. Don't recognize it. Tune. What he's humming. Wouldn't call that a tune. He's really into it. Thoughts? Did you uh, see anything suspicious? Anything at all? Or are we paranoid? Whole thing stinks worse than Coronado Bay in July. Huh. So suspicions confirmed. Any questions at this point? Red Queen's race. What is it? Got me. Never heard of it. Sorry. Who's Holt? Ryan's deputy, and his bulldog, so to speak. Running in Ryan's place now. The conference, why was it held? For no particular reason. 
Ryan liked the sound of his voice and seeing himself on TV. Yeah, that sort of thing. As far as I recall, the drop at Night City's violent crime rate was the excuse for this one. Ryan came out to tout it. Sorry, drop? Ryan reclassified Pacifica an independent district. Stats for that part of town stopped counting. Ha, huh, clever. Cop who saved Ryan. Know anything about him? Detective River Ward. Good guy. We worked a few cases together. You want to talk to him, I'll put you in touch. Mayor's Hustle. They in CPD? No. All handpicked by Holt. And on a corpse payroll. But there are ex-cops among them. Anyone else besides Ryan's detail have access to the terminal? Hmm. NCPD. That's it. Sheesh. Ward had great timing. Either has crazy good luck or had a source. Got good info. I'm gonna need some of each. Well said. I'm sending you his deeds. If you need anything else, let us know. We'll help. This is Ward. Who am I talking to? Name's V. Looking into the death of one Lucius Ryan. Wonder why? You're not a cop. Listen, I know you tried to warn Ryan about the cyber psycho. What else do you know? That you'd best meet with me. All right. I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. Be there, staff. Someone here to see you, looks like. Oh, wonder what about. Wanted to talk. You got a minute? You must be the partner, Detective Han. Okay. Thanks for agreeing to me. You really intend to work with a merc? Don't know what I intend just yet. Now I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. Are you back on that? Boss already told you to drop it. You can say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, keep my advice. As your friends, just let the case go. 
You see me do anything? Just sitting here, sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. Gotta go get my little girl, anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner. Wouldn't want to be overheard. Okay. Talk. See, Detective Han's not a fan of edge runners. Don't take it personally. Detective Han's not a fan of anybody, except his daughter. I wanted to talk. For the attack, you wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. It's an info to him. What was it? Let me ask you a question first. Why do you got your nose in this? Who hired you? Sorry. Never give up the names of my clients. Well then, I'm sure you've got plenty of other leads besides me. I mean, I sure hope so, because... I'm not telling you a thing. And I'm not being mean or nosy, nor is it personal. I'm just covering my own ass. My own safety's at stake, too. So, before I open my mouth, I need to know whose ears are listening. Liz Perales hired me. And her husband, Jefferson. The presumed future mayor. Guess I could have seen that coming. Almost right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay, sure. Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters, hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. He took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. So you saw him as a potential threat, decided to warn the mayor. Just like that? Because you got a good heart? Make it sound like that's something to be ashamed of. Ashamed? No. It's not something you see every day. Said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. And before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial on the hush hush? As I see it, Morales is up to smear Holt. So he thinks Holt's involved? Dunno. But even if he's not, a murdered mayor isn't great optics for his deputy. Morales could just be scared. He doesn't want the job of a guy who just got carried out feet first. Who would? Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? Guy was headed there the day he died. Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard is some fancy ass club. No idea where to even look for it. CI might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. Sorry, we? Can't shake this case. Something's up. Look how quickly it was closed. This way, you can get your job done, while I find evidence that gets my chief to reopen the case. Win-win. So, where to first? All right, you got it. Thank you. Let's go see your informer. Club's a better lead. Fine with me.
guy works here. You go talk to him. I'll wait outside. Tell him Igor says hi. He'll know what it's about. He's your CI. Doesn't know me. Well, uh, last we met, it didn't go so well. For him. The people he ratted out got wind of it. I think you got a better chance of getting him to talk without me. At least voluntarily. Who is this guy? The proud proprietor. He's got all sorts of clients, and he's nosy as hell. So he knows all about everyone. Plus, he's a coward. Perfect combo. Alright, wait here then. You're looking for a uh, general inspiration or something specific? Because I can help with both. Looking for a club. Red Queen's race? If I was you, I'd try somewhere a little more welcoming. Lizzie's over in Kabuki is a good start. Or Cloud's in Japantown. Want an address? Look, club's invitation only, right? You don't know the address, means you're not welcome. Igor says hi. Fuck, no. Said I was done. I was out. Got one question to ask you. Nothing to see here, sir. Come on, ghost, I said. Leave me alone, got it? Can't make me do a damn thing. Red Queen's race. Give us the address. We're gone. Heard that already last time. Then those motherfuckers show broke all my fingers. Fingers. I'll break limbs that'll make you forget all about those fingers. Start with your shins. Any idea how much that hurts? All right! Jesus! Chill, okay? It's outside city limits. Near the river. Benita Street area. You been there? Not telling you another fucking thing. Kiss my ass. Both of them. Well, well. That's what I call a breakthrough. It seems promising, but I'd still hit that market. Market? Horvath's employer, one I mentioned before. I just wouldn't let that lead drop. Okay. Let's go see this market of yours. You're gonna take my car? Sure. Thanks. percent of any detective's job is talking. How about we change tacks this time? Ask questions first, then level threats. And the other 10%? What's it consist of? Writing reports. So, who are we supposed to talk to? Cyber Psycho's boss, you said? Christine Markov, 42. File has her as Horvath's sole employer. Soul contact, too, actually. Come on, V. No 
idea who we're looking for. Gonna have to ask around. I'll start from the left and take the right. Christine Markov. Know her? There's a stall here. Don't know any Christine. This isn't BD Heads Anonymous. Christine Markov. Where will I find her? Christine Markov? No, but I know who she is. Stand with the tape over on the other side. No, she's over there. Thanks. The NCPD advises those traveling beyond official jurisdiction aware of the process. You, Christine Markov, we have some questions. You badges? Looking for data on Petar Horba. Worked here, apparently? Yeah, he did. And then he stopped working, started making fucking speeches all the time. When did the weird behavior actually start? When you're talking about Petar, weird doesn't mean what it means for everybody else. Horvath never was completely normal. For the post-jail Horvath versus the pre-jail Horvath, gonks both, but completely different gonks. Horvath make good scratch here. Could have bought this whole market with the chrome he was packing. <laughs> oh yeah, made scads on scads here. <laughs> Motherfucking millionaire, like we all are. So where do you get the eddies? Know anything? Look, if I knew, I wouldn't be here selling scop to tower trash. I'd get myself an A, B, fly my fucking slim ass out of here. Peter showed up one day with all that. Extra worked up, too. Whacked enough that I asked him where he got it. He said somebody finally seen what he was worth. And then he launched right into one of his tirades. These speeches. What did he have to say? Ryan, corpse got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why do you have it in for the mayor? Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in that whack job? Probably thought Ryan was talking to him through the TV, promising all sorts of shit, then ceasing to give a fuck. Look, I told you what I think. In Horvath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to fuck him, then get him. Had no other connection. Think hard. Easy money? That's what Horvath was after. Didn't do time for nothing. Worked for normals, not so normals. Maybe he and Ryan had some mutual friends. Would that be all, detectives? You're spooking my clientele. Somebody'd finally seen what he was worth. Horvath had sponsors. We might have guessed as much. Might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. But sometimes intel makes sense once you've got some context. Say, for instance, somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail. Means nothing, right? Usually, sure. But then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. A neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. The guy whose head always hurt. An accident? Coincidence. Or maybe air dispersed poison. A deliberate hit. You actually caught a case like that? No. Made it up. Still proves my point. Oh, great. Let me handle this. Step aside, Lug. Your boyfriend got sent up for years. Doubt you want the same. Come on, elections around the corner, and CPD had to up its stats. The rest was for show. They'll let him out soon. And wash your fucking wheels, you pig. Walking the streets with you? <laughs> Downright unsafe. Got a beef with all gangs or just the tigers? I'm a cop. What do you think? Good thing nobody got killed. A little less paperwork. Okay. 
Red Queen's race now. Gonna ride with me? Sure, I'll ride with you. on V. Animals turf. Any sly cop rules for talking to them? Scratch their tummies. Don't expose your throat. Ha fucking ha. We're short of warrant, so you're on your own. You find anything, tell me. Looks like a normal body shop to me. Club's here. I'm telling you. Telling me you got a hunch. Cop intuition? Something like that.
Stairs inside. Clever. Nice. Someone really wanted to cover up whatever it was that went down. What should we be looking for? Let's try to find something that looks like an office. Every club has one. Uh-huh. Looks like an office. Mm -hmm. Sort of. Comps are what we want. Mm. Comps above all. Uh-huh. What? Lucius Ryan, recently deceased mayor of Night City. He was here the night he died? Maybe he was? Maybe he wasn't. No fucking idea. But hey, you might be here in the day you died. Joking! Joking! Why are you watching this dump? Nothing left to clep here! We ain't watching it! We're fucking waiting! For what? Till they send us the scratch for a job well done! Smash it up pretty fucking good, didn't we? We done our bit! Time for the payoff! Who'd you smash it up for? What's it to you? You might be able to speed up your payment. Shit! The fuck I look like to you? Someone who'd swallow Scott like that? I think I know who it is. That gonk burned me too. Anyway, digging for dirt on him. I get him. You'll get what you're owed. But first, 
I gotta know we're talking about the same ass much. Well, then, oh! She's Ryan's right hand bull terrier. Candidate for mayor in the upcoming election? Right, fuck him for the job! Thanks for the help. Trust me, he's been dead at least an hour. No, nope. no trauma cut. Pretty sure he didn't bring it on purpose. A uh, club like this, you don't want TT banging down the door when you're banging away and things start to heat up. Hard, probably. Must have gotten a little too heavy and messy. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Coroner will find him at home. I'll tell him how to write it up. Died in his sleep, quiet as a baby. Boys are getting him out of here. Of course, nobody will see him. No way. Yep. Yes. All right, I'll buzz you later. River, found some footage. You're gonna want to see this. Sending it your way. Your chum covered up the true circumstances of Ryan's death. My chum? You mean Han? Yeah, him. You didn't know. Not a thing? Shit. No, no, I can't. Get out of there, V. I'm gonna ping him. Tell him to meet at Chubby Buffalo's. We're going straight there. Okay, hang on. Be there in a sec. Hanging around with this punk? Shut it, Harold. I know what you did. Not about to ask why you covered it up. Not even why you jumped into this mess to begin with. Just wanna know. Who gave you the order? What's the matter, River? Why do you even care? Your conscience is clear. You can sleep tight at night. You know why? Because I took all the responsibility. You got no idea how this city works. Think a goddamn inspirational idealist bullshit actually means something? It doesn't. Never did. Hey, don't look at me that way, Merc. You know I'm right. I know this town inside out. So you know how it works. At City Hall, in the street. Rules are the same. Ryan knew it too. He fought for this city. Cleanly at times, dirty at others. 
but always with a lot of heart. Wouldn't have wanted him to get dragged through the muck. Ryan was an asshole, but an asshole who got shit done. I remember what it was like before he was elected. Also remember who stopped the Militech Panzers when the NUSA tried to annex Night City. V. Appreciate the help, but this isn't your biz. I'll take care of it. How are you gonna do that? Am I under arrest? Got a scroll, got a motive, got your confession. So yeah, you could be. But it wouldn't make much sense. You don't even gotta say who ordered you to go and clean up. I know anyway. So since even our brass's fingers are all over this, I gotta take it to internal. They won't do a thing either. Not to me. They'll put you in their sights, though. Just go home, Ward. Get some sleep. Find all this easier to take in in the morning. I mean, that's my plan. Fuck. So, what now? Won't well, let this go. Can't. Holt murdered Ryan. Wanted his seat. Oldest, tritest motive in the book. That's why I believe it. Use the NCPD to cover his tracks. Also think it was Holt. The only one who stood to gain. Taking this to internal affairs. Got enough to get this case reopened. Do it. And you? Gonna report back to the paralysis? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna stay. Observe a little. Thanks, V. So, about Ryan, got a pretty good idea what happened. Great. Come by, please. It's a sensitive matter. I'd rather discuss it face to face. We'll be waiting. Thanks. Just gonna tell you one thing. I'm listening. Don't tell them nothing. Don't get involved. This muck is deeper than you think. 
suck you in if you're not careful. I'm always careful. Fine, do whatever the fuck you want. Not like you listen anyway. Hello, V. Please, come in. Make yourself at home. Jefferson will join us shortly. Have a seat. Thank you. Good to see you, V. Elizabeth tells me you have answers for us. I'm all ears. It's not 100% clear what happened. Hardly anything ever is. But? Yeah, I got some idea. Think Weldon Holt was behind Ryan's death. I knew it! You got any proof? I don't. Just strong suspicions. That's all we need to know, Jeff. We have to be careful. Keep a close eye on Holt and up our security. You're right. As always, you're right. Thanks for your help, V. Your fee. You two watch out for each other. Hey there. Now, where did we leave off? Careful, please. Right, we'll return to this later. person until very recently. He has just as much of a right to use that space as Ryan. Get it done today. We are not pushovers. We are not going away. The conference will be at City Hall. You helped us, V. Thank you. But we'll call if we need anything. 